<laughs> I've been asked this question quite uh, often, uh, and I my response is that, um, well, all of the episodes that I was involved in were only ever written by Stephen Moffat. Uh, he wouldn't let the other writers write for my character. And, um, <laughs> and I also had the best lines. <laughs> but, but so if I were to say that I had a favourite, in a weird way, I'd feel like I was denying the others, and I could never do that, because they were all so brilliant. Um, uh, but outside of the episodes that I was involved in, I have a special affection for um, the Van Gogh episode. Yeah. Um, because the ending always makes me cry every time I watch it, so... That's what I was going to say. Yeah. Van Gogh watching the painting at the end. Oh my god, it's heartbreaking. Yeah. Absolutely heartbreaking. That's a that's my memory. Um, and then the other one, to be honest, it's kind of snippets. It's like um, dancing on a cloud um, above stars of the TARDIS, motorbike. In no bike. Cross Westminster Bridge. That was amazing, wasn't it? We just, me and you going around on that bike. That was great. Yeah. You hanging down, wait, being helicoptered into oh Trafalgar Square. Oh, God, yeah, I remember that. That was amazing, actually. <laughs> I shit my pants though. <laughs> <laughs> pretty high. It was really high. I was higher than Nelson's bloody column, which is high. <laughs> 90 foot it was, and yeah, the most amazing view of London. And um, I wasn't actually attached as well, I was just holding on. Can you believe that? I was, I'm not one joking. Um, do you know what I loved with us? Can you remember that one where the TARDIS was outside of your then house and you were in the window and we were like arguing? Oh yeah, when you were fixing something. Yeah, I was fixing something. That was a, I was, I don't know, I have some strange fondness for that scene. It's very domestic. Yeah. I quite like the really domestic scene. Do you remember, there was one scene where I had to be asleep. And the doctor had to come in and I had to stay asleep and Matt started to improvise. But improvising by like, you know, he was supposed to have like one jammy dodger and this sequence went on for ages. He was like nibbling like above my ear, like ten jammy dodgers going <laughs> in his pocket, his whole routine. And I had to not corpse and remain asleep. And you did corpse? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I won't tell you why. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I'm going to find that after. <laughs> well, let me expand that question just slightly because, you know, asking what your favorite episode is, I, I think we, yeah, I may have discussed this with, with one of you before, but what's sort of the episode or scene that you would like to kind of go back and, and look at as a, a fly on the wall because it moves so fast that you can't quite remember it or, you know, you didn't quite, I guess, register the gravity of the moment or et cetera. But you know what, right? I was thinking about this weirdly the other day. I, and it was a scene I loved. I don't know why I was thinking, I think maybe because I saw a picture. Can you remember when you shot the fez? <laughs> and we were yeah. on that roof and I had to climb out of the, it was, I don't know why, it was a sort of just quite a happy time. And I'd finally got a hat. And then I reveled so much in shooting it. It was like, I was thinking about that the other day, yeah. So I'd, I'd, I'd pop that there. Go watch that? Yeah. Jenna, how about you? What would you go back and sort of watch yourself perform? Oh, I don't know if I'd want to do that. <laughs> there's no, there's nothing that it was just like that happened so fast that I just can't, I, I can't remember it or I can't, I didn't register the importance of it or anything. I mean, that's kind of like all of it. It all just yeah, goes yeah. really quick, to be honest. Um, but no, I mean, I, there's nothing in particular I go, yeah. I want to go watch myself do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what about watching your boyfriend become a cyberman? <laughs> Poor Danny, in cyber heaven. Uh, too soon, Matt. Too soon. <laughs> Alex, is there anything that... that... Actually, um, the, uh, the Pandorica episode... Uh, not Pandorica, no, no, actually, no, I'm lying, not Pandorica. Um, the, the one where we... When we were in America? No, the Weeping Angels, when we were in that amazing wood. Oh, God, the first, the first... first thing we ever shot. Yeah. We Holy were in this moly. incredible um, forest, it was the forest of Arden. The Dean, the forest Dean of forest. And, um, Which is we, where Tolkien got the idea to write Lord of the Rings. Exactly, and we were told also that that's um, 
the, that was the forest that inspired Shakespeare to write A Midsummer Night's Dream. And so we were doing this night shoot and the, the, the area of the wood in which we were filming, the moss, was so vibrant green, it was incredible, and you absolutely could believe that there were fairy folk in that wood. And then we had all of the, our dancers who, who played the Weeping Angels sort of positioned in this wood, and they would then shoot the scene, and you'd see them coming closer. And it was so scary and atmospheric. Um, and I, I mean, it sort of, I didn't want it to end, except that it was the middle of the night and pouring with rain and we actually destroyed all of the moss with our equipment and our heavy feet. It was awful. Um, you were drinking I, red wine, weren't you? Were well, we drinking red wine? Yeah. <laughs> 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 So we had the odd glass. Yes, we were actually because it was so cold. But it was just the, the place was so amazing. I'd love to revisit that actually and really sit and watch it again. That's yeah. all bit. That's cool. Yeah, that was really strikingly atmospheric. So much so that I thought that was just a little bit of TV magic. Well, and people yeah. probably thought it was a set because it was the interior of a spaceship, but actually we were filming in a proper wood. Wow. That's cool.